Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. It's Tool Tuesday here on the Stony Ridge Farm and we've got a totally different tool for you that we want to show you. It's satellite internet. I'm not getting paid by Starlink. This is my Starlink system. It came in the mail about three days ago. I'm finally getting time to set it all up and today we're going to take you guys and show you that just because you live in the country, you don't have to have super slow internet. We've got really, really slow internet and I'm having to upload every YouTube video via hotspot or via my phone and it's just not working. So hopefully this is a solution to all our problems. We'll talk about the cost, we'll talk about setup, and we'll talk about the speeds that I currently have and the speeds that this thing provides here in North Carolina. All right, let's have some fun. <laughs> Okay guys, if this is your first time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, please pound that like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back. We've got a first generation farm here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina, and you're following the journey. Tool Tuesday is a fun day, one of my favorite days on the farm, because we get to test out a new tool. So without further ado, we're just going to open the box. This is exactly how it will come to you. And the way we had to do this, the way we set this up is we went on the website and I'll post a link down there in the video description so you guys can do this yourself. Um, it's expensive. In my opinion, it's a bit expensive to get started. It almost costs about 500 bucks to get started. What you have to do is leave a $100 down payment and then when Starlink is available in your area, you pay the $500-ish for the dish and stuff. So it's a pretty tough pill to swallow for something that you would typically get for free from like a satellite TV or uh, like a dish network or uh, even maybe HughesNet, I don't know. But there's a trick, there's trickery there. So uh, I've got friends that have HughesNet and they're paying like four and 500 bucks a month for HughesNet. It just doesn't seem right to me. So you open the box, in here is a big old poster and the big old poster has everything you need to know. So it says download the app basically it, it doesn't have any language on it besides Starlink and Starlink. Uh, so it gives you your password and your Wi-Fi. That's it. Those are your instructions, okay? So we've already downloaded the app on our iPhone right here, and we're going to set this to the side. Doesn't matter if you have a Samsung or an iPhone. This is the stand that it comes with, and it comes with some screw mounts right there. So I guess if you set it up, you can anchor it to the ground. This setup today is gonna to be a temporary setup just to show you guys how it all works, okay? So, like I said, here's the power cord. Very nice, fine feeling cord. It's very soft. This is the power cord. Goes to a power box right here. Very simple. Got about 100 foot of cable. Uh, and that goes to your modem. I guess this is the modem. It doesn't really say anything on it other than Starlink and reset. That's it, a little space age looking deal. This is the dish. This is the dish itself. It's pretty, it's pretty stout. Uh, in all the videos that I've seen, nobody's ever really said that this is flat, but this is flat, totally flat. It looks like a dish, but it's flat, okay? Interesting, very interesting. This flat dish goes into this stand. Just that simple. There are two little tabs and there are two little tabs on here, so we'll slip that on. They say this is just super, super easy, so you don't have to be tech savvy to figure this thing out at all. Your great grandmother can do this. The dish is kind of heavy, it weighs probably, uh, I'm gonna say in the neighborhood of 30 pounds, something like that. Okay, so if you can pick up 30 pounds, you can do this. Here's the dish, I'll set it over to the side. I'm gonna go plug in the power source into the wall in the house and I'm gonna set the modem. It's slick, it's all slick, space AG kind of slick. Oh, there's only one plug. That's it, this plugs into the modem, cool. And this just runs out to your dish. So let's get it off the table. We're gonna set it out here in the yard and we're gonna take everything and plug it in. For the sake of simplicity, this is all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna set the dish up right here, right in the yard and Got about a hundred feet of, it, it looks like coax cable almost. It looks like an extension cord cable. And we'll run that up onto the porch and right inside the house. Like I said, guys, this is gonna be a temporary setup. 
just to get us by today, this is the cord. Just ran it in the house. We're gonna set up our modem right here <laughs> where we've got our binoculars and our spotlight. We live in the country, man, not just the country. We out in the country, country. So set this over to the side and let's plug in the rest of it. All right, here's all the rest of the goodies right here. <laughs> you might notice I just shaved my beard off and I look really, really pale. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, so here's our modem. We'll set our modem up right there. Here's our power source. All we have to do is take that cable that we just brought in the house and plug it. There's a white area for the white cable and a gray area for the gray cable. That'd get much simpler than that. Plug that guy in. Uh, again, this is a temporary install. This is just to test it out. Later on, I'll go ahead and I'll take a, a paddle bit and I'll drill through the wall and I'll caulk it all into place and I'll mount it probably on my roof, depending on which way the satellite points. And this thing aims itself. In other words, it's pretty much no thought required. All you gotta do is sit it out in the yard, plug it in and it'll start like syncing up with satellites around you. Pretty cool, so let's plug her in. No lights blinking or anything. Yep, there it comes. A little light just came on right there. All right, let's go outside to the satellite and see what it's doing. I'm rushing out the door. Its satellite's already moving, man. It, they say it takes like 10 minutes for it to set itself up. Once you plug it in, it just starts setting itself up. So it's already moved from the position it was in and it's pointing up. It's not making any noise or anything. It's motorized, got a little motor in there evidently. But uh, that's it, it's pointed up. The satellite literally connected faster than I could walk out the door. That's how fast it connected. Now there's an app you need to download on your phone. It's the Starlink app. That's it right there. We're gonna tap the Starlink app and it says connect to Starlink, okay? So we're gonna start setup. It says check for obstructions. I might be an obstruction here. So uh, start setup, plug everything in. Tells you to do that, what we just did. Now we'll open Wi-Fi settings right there. Turn my Wi-Fi on, on the phone, and I've already got Starlink. Wow, I've got Starlink right there. So I just tap Starlink. It tells me to enter a Wi-Fi network name, so we'll just call it something, and then enter a password. You will now be disconnected from the router. Reconnect using your browser. While Starlink is hooking up right now, we're gonna go ahead and test our CenturyLink speeds for you real quick. You guys are gonna be amazed at how slow my internet is. We're testing, doing the CenturyLink speed test right on the website there. Four megabytes per second on CenturyLink. That's the download speed. That's super, super slow. I mean, if you live in town, uh, you would have 100 times that. Upload speed, 0.3 megabytes per second. 0.3 megabytes per second. I'm canceling CenturyLink after today. I'm canceling, I'm sorry CenturyLink, but that's that's just it. That's what I'm gonna do. This is all nerdy geek stuff. So you guys don't, uh, if you're not into this, then you're not into this. If your internet at home is fast enough, then that's just fine. But if you wanna watch 4K video, bam, you got it. If you wanna do live streams like I do all the time, bam, that's it. Now we're gonna go back into our settings, turn back on our Wi-Fi. That's it, I'm connected. All connected up. Starlink, good to go. Now, let's perform the speed test. This is the Telltale. And again, this thing took no time to set up. Uh, and it points basically vertically, so I could put it on the back side of my house, on the roof, on the back porch, anywhere. It looks like it basically just points straight up in the air here at my house. So let's go ahead and do a, a speed test again. And could not connect. Hmm. Time out, let me figure this out. Got it figured out. So the satellite had not quite aimed at the right direction. So what we have now is, let's run speed test and it actually has it set up here where we can just run the speed test. Uh, I haven't seen this yet, so here we go. 55, what? Oh my goodness, what? Dude, I, 110 megabytes per second, which is, <laughs> It's just unbelievable compared to about four what I had before. So we would say that's about 25, 26 times as fast. Uh, my internet will be 26 times as fast. Uh, wow. Let's look at upload and download speed. 30 megabytes per second upload speed. 
So we'll again open up the Starlink app. You're connected. Once again, it tells you you're connected, ready to rock and roll. It's that quick, it's that simple. And my internet speeds are insane. It's 130 megabytes per second. And this is Mother's Day. It's kind of busy today, I would say, on the internet. Um, that's awesome. I can't say how happy and how easy that was. Again, anyone could do this. If you can plug two plugs in together, if you have the capability of plugging two plugs together, you can do Starlink. I'll keep you guys posted uh, on the live streams on Wednesday Night Live, how this does, but uh, I'm totally tired of watching. This is my TV, this is my little setup here in the house. Uh, don't have, we have a pretty humble setup, but now I can watch live stuff, live streaming stuff. I can watch sports that I might wanna watch. I can uh, actually use internet, so I'm canceling two hotspots, CenturyLink internet, and so I'm getting rid of bills. I'm, get, I'm getting rid of about $70 worth of bills. Starlink costs 100 bucks a month. It's not, it's completely unlimited. It's not throttled down once you use a certain amount of data or anything. It's completely unlimited, $100 a month. You don't have to have satellite TV anymore because you can stream all this stuff. It's awesome, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video. This is not my typical Tool Tuesday. That's Starlink. That's how simple it is, and that's how it works. If you're living out in the country, if you live a rural lifestyle like we do, and you have super slow internet, that's it. That's how th you can have this. It's awesome. Go online, I'll post a link down below to the Starlink website. You can go in and you sign up. Basically, you pay 100 bucks, and it's a refundable $100. You put yourself on the waiting list, and they'll notify you when it's available in your area, and you can get it shipped to you. It, takes, it took me like a week to get it, and it took me 10 minutes to set it up that quick. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and run hard lines through the wall. Basically, I'll just take this same cord that I ran into the modem right here and just run it through the wall right there, caulk it all into place, seal it all off, and we'll have good internet. No more slow internet in the country. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time on Tool Tuesday. All right? We Woo! Come on down.